Hey everybody, welcome to Home with the Halsteads and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm bringing out an old recipe. It's called Copper Pennies. I haven't made it in a long time and I just imagine that you haven't either and that's one of the purposes of my video is to remind you and for you to remind me of dishes that we forget about that are so delicious and so refreshing and again it's summertime and it's time to for us to make salads and make it in quantities that we can put it in the refrigerator and be out and about and doing the things that we want to do and need to do and come in and we have something made and it's refreshing and it's delicious. So let me tell you how I'm going to make the copper pennies. Now some people might call these um, marinated carrots, but these this is the old fashioned copper pennies recipe that my mama made and that, that I've used through the years. I started out with two pounds of fresh carrots and I have one here I saved it this one was larger than the other so I'll just I wanted to show it to you and show you what I used but I'll take this and I'll just uh, fix me a little carrot salad uh, to go with my dinner tonight or for my lunch uh, I love carrot salad and sometimes I'll make that um, for you and show you how I do that but I started out with two pounds of carrots fresh carrots and let me go ahead and tell you that when you go to scrape these and chip them up you need to wear gloves because these will stain your hands well the two pounds of carrots turned out to be about five cups of cut carrots so this is about five cups of um, carrots I'm using one green bell pepper and I've um, chopped that up one bell pepper green bell pepper, one medium onion, and I cut that up. And that, th these are the vegetables that will go in our copper pennies. And then we're going to make a marinade. And I'm going to start out with a half a cup of Crisco vegetable oil. Remember Crisco sent me some product and I love Crisco. So today I'm using it in the recipe that I'm making and it's a half a cup of vegetable oil and, it, and I'm using Crisco oil. I'm using one can of tomato soup. This is a 10.75 ounce can of tomato soup. I'm using one cup of white granulated sugar. Now let's talk about this for just a minute. Some people say a cup is too much and I hear a lot of people say well if a recipe calls for a cup of sugar I cut back to three-fourths or even a half. Well you feel free to do whatever you want to do or need to do regarding that but in this recipe it does call for a cup of white granulated sugar and that's what I'm going to be using today. You can also use a sugar substitute if you have a health problem or you don't use sugar, you don't need to use sugar, and you do use a sugar substitute, then it works great in this copper penny recipe. So go ahead and do that. I'm using three-fourths of a cup of white vinegar. Three-fourths cup white vinegar. And then I'm using one teaspoon of each of the following. One teaspoon of prepared mustard. Now this is nothing more than your classic yellow mustard that you put on a hot dog or hamburger. One teaspoon of prepared mustard. One teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. One teaspoon Worcestershire sauce. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon salt. And one teaspoon of pepper. And I'm using the white pepper because it's a little bit milder than the regular black pepper. Now, let's talk about what we're going to do. We need to boil our carrots. So I'm going to put them in a saucepan and I'm going to cover them with water, put them on the stove, bring them to a boil, and cook them until they're tender. It won't take long once they start boiling. Once they get done, then I'm going to drain them. I probably will rinse them. I'll let you know if I do. I, I usually rinse the carrots after I um, cook them. Drain them in a colander so that they'll be pretty dry. And then once I do that, I know you know how to boil things. So 
so I won't um, show you how to do that today. But once I get the carrots done, then I'll come back and we'll put it all together and we'll make the copper pennies. Our carrots are done and I wanted to tell you that I boiled them 12 minutes and then I took them over to the sink. I poured them in a colander and I wanted to show you what I did. I poured them in a colander and I just ran cold water over them. Now what that did, it just helped to speed the cooling process because you want these cool when you start to mix it all together. So I'm just going to pour our carrots, our cooked carrots, into this large mixing bowl. And these are good. I've already tasted one. <laughs> you want your carrots to be done, but you don't want to overcook them. So these are done and they're ready to go. Next, I'm going to add our onions. One medium onion that I have chopped up. And to that, I'm going to add one green bell pepper. Just gonna toss this around. Look how pretty that is, my goodness. Mm, I can't wait. This kind of reminds me a little bit of the marinated salad vegetable salad that we made recently um, and the longer that it marinates or it stays in the refrigerator the better that it is so now I'm just going to set this aside and we'll mix up our marinade we're going to start with one can of tomato soup and I like to use a little spatula so that I can get it all out of the can. A lot of people will just pour it and throw the can away, but there's a lot of soup or a lot of food ingredients that hangs to the bottom of your container. So always get you a spatula and make sure that you get all of that out. So that's one can of soup. To that, we're going to add our vegetable oil. And remember, this is one half cup of Crisco vegetable oil. To that, I'm going to add one cup of sugar. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and start mixing and I'm going to use my whisk to do that so that we can start the sugar melting and the oil and the soup blending together. Just turning the bowl as we go. Just mixing it up. Now I'm going to add our vinegar. This is one half cup of white vinegar. I'm making noise, aren't I? I'm sorry, I told you wrong. That's three fourths cup of white vinegar. It's a half a cup of oil and three-fourths cup of vinegar. I had to double check myself on that. I thought I made a mistake, so I wanted to correct that. Okay, now we're going to add the prepared mustard, and this is just a teaspoon of prepared mustard. Our Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon. salt and pepper. Gonna rack that off like that. And now we're gonna mix it up. Mmm. This is 
going to be good. So good. Okay, now we're ready to mix it all together. So let's bring our vegetables back over, our carrots, our onions, and our pepper. And I'm just going to pour the marinade over the vegetables. Now, at this point, I'm just going to take a spoon and I'm going to mix it all up, just stirring it around. Mm. Yum! This makes a lot of um, copper pennies. And it's going to be so, so good. And there you have it, copper pennies. I'll be right back. Okay, friends, we have copper pennies and it's going to be delicious. What I'm going to do now is to transfer this into a container with an airtight, so that it'll be airtight and I'll cover it and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. And the beauty of this is that the longer that it marinates, um, the better that it is. And also, it lasts in the refrigerator. If you happen to have leftovers after you serve it the first time, then it lasts for several, several days in the refrigerator. Just make sure that you keep it in the marinade. Don't drain it off because it needs to stay in the marinade. And you know me, this is supposed to sit in the refrigerator and cool and marinade or marinate before you taste it, but I can't wait. So I'm going to taste it. First of all, it's really pretty, and I know it's going to be good. Mm. I could literally make a lunch off of this. I hope you'll make some, mar some copper pennies real, real soon with this wonderful marinade uh, dressing that goes on top of it. Thank you for joining me today in my kitchen. Be sure to share our videos, and I'll see you again really, really soon.